Good evening and welcome back to the channel. So, I finished work for the evening now, Bank Holiday Monday. So, around six hours time, just around that, I will be obviously setting out to go to East Midlands Airport to begin the Ibiza series. So I will do a video um, before I leave the house, just to explain things a bit more regarding the arrival time um, at the airport, how long it'll probably take, with the mileage etc um, and then obviously I'll do a, a video when I'm at the car park um, the time I've arrived um, and obviously then I will proceed into East Midlands to go and do the check-in and get through security now I know from when I took my brother a couple of weeks ago that, they, that you can't use the door for the two e-departures so you can either use the Ryanair door which is the first one you come to from the car park or the one the far end which is the Jet 2 entrance so it'll be interesting to see what's actually going on inside the airport if, if that's the reason they've closed it off because of this revamp they're supposed to be having. Birmingham's is well underway. It's practically finished as far as I've read. So by June the 1st, you won't be required to take liquids out of your hand luggage. You won't be required to take electricals out. You won't be restricted on what liquids you can take through. They're wanting to increase it to two litres of liquids that you can take through, which is a lot more at the moment because... A lot more than at the moment, I mean, because you can usually take up to 100 mils and they have to go in a seal a see-through bag and then put in in a tray um, to be screened so east midlands are still doing that as far as i know birmingham will be the first to not do it from june they may open it before then um it'll obviously get announced on the news or on youtube i'm sure by other people so but that'll be exciting news for when i go in october because it'll take less time to get through security and then obviously manchester will have theirs done if they're not already doing it but I know East Midlands will follow. Um, I know they are having a revamp on their terminal building. Um, they want to resurface the taxiways as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. But like I say, I probably will see at the airport why they've shot that door that you can't go through at the moment, the one for Tui. But we'll just see what happens when I get there anyway. And I will do a video about it and just explain what the situation was like regarding check-in, security waiting for the flight which gate number i'm going to go to it'll be interesting to see which one i go to because the last two times i've gone from east midlands i've had to go down that long corridor um in march i went to gate 22 last year when i went to alicante i went from gate 21 so for ibiza i don't know um which gate it's going to be as i said in the last video there's 17 flights going before mine um from quarter to six till five to eight um there's a jet to one going at ten to eight um, which is to Palmer, um, and then the Ibiza one's 5-2. So we'll probably have to wait for that flight to take off before we go, but who knows. It'll all be videoed, it'll all be photographed anyway. Um, I'll be videoing planes taking off and landing when I'm in the departures bit once I've had something to eat um, before the gate's called. I'll obviously go and look at the planes and I'll do, a, I'll do some video of the planes outside, etc. and take some photographs. So to be onwards to Ibiza, so I will do a video as I've said before I leave home, when I get to the airport, and then once I'm in the airport itself, and obviously I will do the in-flight, the taxi to the runway, takeoff, in-flight and landing. I've got a breakfast order on the flight, so I won't have to worry about eating. I mean, I will have something to eat in the airport because I've got a bit of a wait, but I've got a breakfast with a hot drink ordered. Um, so that'll be good. I'll, and you generally get served before everybody else. So that's one advantage of pre-booking a meal. For those that have perhaps never done it before, it is a real good thing to do because they usually come to you and ask you if you've ordered a meal and then obviously you say yes and then they ask you what drink you want. So they generally know who's ordered a meal and where they're sitting. So that's quite good. Well, it's not quite good. It's very good, actually. So you know that you're going to get served before everybody else. So even while the plane's still climbing after takeoff, you generally get served. So... It's, it's very good service and it's always Yorkshire tea on a Jet 2 plane because um, it's a Yorkshire airline and that's the best tea. Yorkshire, it's the best tea. I love it, absolutely love it. But anyway, the flight will be around two and a half hours so I'm sure the captain will mention the time of arrival. The weather forecast is looking very good. It's give out 24, 25 for tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm obviously going to head to the bus station tomorrow when I get there after I've got to the room and dumped everything off and got changed, etc. I'm going to go to the bus station and just see about the tickets for the next day, how much it'll cost. I know it's bus number eight, you can get bus number three as well, but I'm quite happy to take bus number eight. 
it gets a scenic bus, goes south of San Antonio and, and then through St. Josep and then past the airport and into, San, uh, into Ibiza. And then you can always get bus three coming back. But I'll be quite comfortable with bus eight because it takes you straight back to the bus station. I can just get off and go straight to the hotel. Um, but yeah, so I'm planning a full day in Ibiza town on Wednesday. Go and explore the old town through the streets, the old streets, etc. Go on the city walls, get the views, get loads of photographs, loads of video footage, loads of YouTube videos will be going on. So keep an eye on the channel, everybody that's watching. And again, thank you to all those that have watched so far and subscribed. And the views are still going up. It's pushing 57k. So I'm really happy about that at the moment. So I know it'll exceed 60,000, I'm sure, by the time I get back. Um, but I am planning to do another series the end of June. So stay tuned for that. I've been looking at prices for Mallorca for the end of June. So I'm looking at doing a trip out there in about a month's time. Because I want to go to the Caves of Drac. So I'm looking at doing that trip. And that will probably be the last one until October. Because I've got to pay for the Croatia holiday in July. Um, so I, I need to get that paid for. Because it's quite a bit. So And obviously get the car park books. I haven't booked that yet. So, But at the moment for now we've got Ibiza to look forward to. Lots planned, lots of video footage to come, lots of photographs. Um, so stay tuned and I'll be back with you later on when I'm about to leave for the airport. So thank you for watching and good evening.